Welcome back to the channel guys and I hope you guys are doing pretty good. So today onwards we are starting a new series which is called as 2 minutes Tuesday in which I'm going to introduce tips and tricks, uh, your important interview questions and concepts under 2 minutes. So let's get started. So a couple of days back one of the students from the estate masterclass faced a very interesting question which was how do you manage the dependencies of your test automation framework? Now hold on, if you're going to say that you're going to manage the dependencies in form.xml file, kudos, correct. But let's say, there is a new version of Selenium WebDriver rest assured or APM which has been released. It's there in the Maven repository. How will you come to know that there is a new version which is there and you have to upgrade your form.xml file? Are you going to come to know that part? So if you're going to say that you're going to go to your Maven repository, you're going to search for Selenium Java and you're going to look and compare the versions, then my dear friends, you're definitely going to get rejected. So let's try to understand how to manage the dependencies in your test automation framework in a better way. Now guys, over here, I have my test automation framework which has been created and kept over here and I don't know what's the versions of these libraries, all right? So the first thing over here guys is if I go to the pom.xml file, you're going to see that I have different dependencies of this particular project. Now I don't know whether these libraries are having the latest version or not. Now I want to track and check whether I'm using the latest versions or not. But I don't want to go to the Maven repository. I want to do it from my terminal. How to do that part? So for that guys, we're going to use a plugin which is called as Maven version plugin. Please make a note of this particular point. Now how to use this particular plugin is pretty simple. You're just going to right click on your project and you're going to go to your show in local terminal. I'm going to use git bash. You can use your command prompt also. It's going to work properly. I'm going to go to my git bash. The first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to invert the color because I really hate the terminal with white color. So I'm just going to invert this color. And the thing which I'm going to do over here is I'm going to execute a command which is going to be called as maven versions colon. Okay. I'm going to simply say display dependency hyphen updates. All right. You're going to simply say Maven version. Versions is basically your plugin. Display dependency update is the goal. So it's going to check all the dependencies and it's going to tell me whether I'm using the latest version or not. So I'm going to hit enter and observe the output over here. Let's bring this a little bit up and boom, you will notice that over here for your GSOC, there is a new version. All right. It's there in the Maven repository, open CSV. I have 5.0. 12 or 1.2 which is the latest version which is there. Apache Log 4J also has the latest version. Your Selenium has a latest version for 4.35. Your Apache Poi has the latest version 5.4.1. Alright, boom. Alright, so from my terminal itself I can come to know the latest versions which are there in the Maven repository. Perfect. Now, how do I introduce these latest versions directly in my form.xml file? So for that you're going to write the next command which is going to be Maven versions colon use hyphen latest hyphen releases. All right, use hyphen latest hyphen releases. I'm going to hit enter and observe carefully what happens. All right, it has updated all the dependencies for me. So now, okay, if I just bring this guy over here, uh, let's go to pom.xml file. All right, you will notice that Selenium version is now 4.35. A moment back it was 4.25. Alright. Along with that, what it has done is it has created a backup file for me. So pom.xml version backup. So this version backup is technically having the older versions of the dependencies which I was using in the past. Make sense to everyone? Perfect. So that's it. Time's up. So I hope you have understood how to manage dependencies in a much more better way in your Maven Java project.